Which choice completes the text so that it conforms to the conventions of standard English? In 2016, engineer Vanessa Galvez oversaw the installation of 164 bioswales, vegetative channels designed to absorb and divert stormwater along the street of Queens, New York, by reducing the runoff flowing into city sewers, blink. So a key point here is that after this phrase, the subject, bioswales, should be placed immediately after it to specify and clarify that it is the noun or subject of the sentence. So option A says, the mitigation of both street flooding and the resulting pollution of nearby waterways has been achieved by bioswales. This is incorrect because this results in a dangling modifier where it's unclear what the subject or noun is, and this would be fixed if bioswales were put towards the beginning of the sentence. So A is incorrect. B. The bioswales have mitigated both street flooding and resulting pollution of nearby waterways. This seems to be correct because it properly places the bioswales immediately after the comma to show that bioswales is a subject or noun of the sentence, so B seems to be correct. C. The bioswales mitigation of both street flooding and the resulting pollution of nearby waterways has been achieved. This is incorrect because this doesn't specify the subject or noun, making it unclear because this highlights the bioswales mitigation of both street flooding, not the bioswales. So C is incorrect. D. Both street flooding and the resulting pollution of nearby waterways has have been mitigated by bioswales. This is like this is a ding modifier like C and A, and therefore it is incorrect. Which but this would be fixed if bioswales were placed more towards beginning the sentence. So D is incorrect. The correct answer is B.